I made it. This is day 30 that I haven't rocked back and forth. And I have to say, I feel a lot more solid. I feel more sure of myself and my self-esteem is going up, but I'm still fighting a lot of demons at night, you know, between two and 4 a.m. Just these really, you know, convincing voices that I should just fap and uh, twitch my feet, you know, and twitching my feet and fapping is part of the rocking back and forth family. It's stimming, it's coping mechanisms that I've been doing since I was eight years old. And so I'm still dealing with a lot of battles in my mind, um, you know, wanting me to do things to feel good because we're moving to Texas, we're on our way there. We're in Baton Rouge right now. And we'll literally be in Texas tomorrow to meet, uh, you know, Misha's family. And it's really scary because, you know, we've been living in a cabin in the middle of nowhere, North Carolina for the last three years. So this is my first time basically getting back into society. And I don't think I could have done it if I, you know, stopped rocking. So I feel more secure, I feel more solid. 30 days, uh, this is almost record breaking. I think in a couple of days, it will be an all time record that I've stopped rocking this long. So hang in there guys, you know, the devil's gonna want you to do things just for instant gratification, but it's never worth it. I'm always, I always feel guilt and shame for at least a week after I fap or do things I didn't want to do. So it really is kind of like an inside battle. It's nothing really on the surface. It's basically inside my head. It's the, you know, it's the worst, your worst enemy is usually your thoughts. So I feel more stable, more solid. Um, I can look at people longer eye contact wise and that's pretty big for someone with Asperger's so um, What else could I say? Just hang in there guys. It's gonna get a lot better um, You know, I feel really good been working out been you know meditating been doing some breathing exercises um, and trying to raise up that that pent-up sexual aggression down in my groin, I've been trying to raise it up through all the chakras, get it all the way up to the crown chakra, and then blow it. You know, when I exhale, I believe that I make this aura of gold light. So I bring up this gold light from my groin by breathing in and tightening my pelvic, my pelvic floor. So you flex down there like you wanna cinch off your pee when you breathe up, so all the way up to the crown, hold it, and then when you breathe out, just picture a gold light enshrining you, and that all that gold light will go flow all the way back down your entire body, and you do that several times, okay? Breathe up that chi from your groin all the way up, and then let it out, and it will just shower your whole body with that golden healing energy. And that will get all that pent up aggression and energy out of your lower groin because without this breath work, I would be throbbing down there. I would, I would really be in trouble if I didn't have this, these breathing techniques to channel this energy and to move it throughout my body instead of, if it just stays down there, it can become a big problem and it could feel, you know, it could make me want to do things that I don't want to do a lot worse. So look into breathing exercises. I'll leave a link under this video. Um, my fiance and I have been doing these breathing techniques for about a month now, and it's really helped me, you know, channel this energy, put it to a positive use. And uh, it's, really, it's really changing our lives, not just physically or spiritually, but also financially money seems to be coming to us. We're taken care of on this trip. We're staying in a $200 Marriott tonight. You know, we're gonna get some really nice food delivered to our door. So uh, I believe that's all the abundance work that we've been doing. So um, I'll leave a link under this video, check that out. And uh, thanks for watching this journey. There will be a lot more videos We'll talk about how to quit addictions and all the stimming, whatever you want to quit, we're going to talk about it. So leave a comment 
if you have any questions about how to quit stimming or you know how to live with Asperger's or autism or anything like that just drop a comment and we'll talk to you soon.